Good morning, Morning Star family. So good to join you again on Monday mornings. I wanted to read to you a couple of verses out of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, where Paul writes, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship does righteousness have with lawlessness? And what communion does light have with darkness? Therefore, come out from among them, be separate, saith the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. You know, one of the greatest benefits that God has given to us as his people is the church, the fellowship that we can have with the saints. In fact, throughout the scripture, it is one of those things that God sets before us to say, plug yourself in here and then you can remain strong. Uh, the church is good for fellowship. It's good for accountability. It's good for examples to find that you can follow and also to go and be an example. It is a good place to share his word. It is a good place to get prayer. It is a good place to be supportive of others who are in need. Unfortunately, over this last year and a half in the pandemic, it has driven a lot of people away from the church and isolated them from one another. And that's tragic, even more difficult and, and, and harmful than, than the pandemic itself is what it can do to our spiritual lives. And so if we see the church as the Lord does, it, it is a place that you'll want to get back to if you haven't been plugged in. If you add to that the fact that the Lord tells us that the, the world is no place for us, that we don't belong here, it isn't our home, we're just passing through, our citizenship is in heaven. And then the, the, the warnings constantly from the Lord to stay away from the undue influence that the world has around us. Then you begin to see the church is absolutely necessary. It's, it's almost a, a haven in the midst of, of trouble and, and difficulties. We really have no basis for fellowship with the world. God has called us out of it. He has become our God, and the God of this world is not ours. So it is certainly God's desire that you and I are placed in the world to be lights in dark places, to bear the Lord's name, to be his mouthpiece, if you will, to bring the gospel, the good news of Jesus. But at the same time, we've got to guard ourselves from getting pulled back into a world that God has brought us out of. I think one of the easiest things that you can remember is that the world is not for fellowship. It's for ministry. You know, view the world, your neighbors, the people around you as those that God would like to reach through your life, through your example. And then run to the church often for fellowship, for friendship, for dating, for marriage, and for raising your children. The church is for fellowship. It is for you and, and, and for your spiritual well-being. The world is for your ministry where God will send you. So don't be unequally yoked. Maybe the best thing you can do is ask yourself, who are my friends? Where do I spend my time with and who? And, and then see if the Lord has is, is got you right when he wants you. But, but certainly know this. God wants you to come out and be separate. The church is really important for your life and for each other. And the world then needs to see the church that's strong walking with Jesus. Hope to see you in church real soon. God bless you.